Let's talk about cameras for a bit. What's your thoughts on full frame? Just being the best. I still I still think ultimately full frame is the best. Does it mean that you won't be able to get more flexibility from a camera body on a smaller camera sensors? 100%. Look at the Fuji X-C3, arguably probably the most powerful APS-C camera body right now for hybrid shooting with that 26.3 megapixel X-Trans sensor and also what it does for video. It's probably got the most powerful APS-C camera body. Look at, look at what, you know, the GH5 and the GH5S are doing on the micro for, for third sensor as well as Olympus. Smaller sensors because of the fact that they have less heat output, faster readouts in terms of the sensor and what you can do on a mirrorless with in-body image stabilization, you're gonna get more flexibility, but at the end of the day, you cannot defy the laws of physics. A bigger sensor, full frame, medium format is gonna give you a much better looking image. Forget depth of field, it's gonna give you a cleaner looking image because it's just bigger sensor, bigger pixels, more light photons that are gonna be hitting onto it. And you do not have to worry about crop factors and lens equivalents. Whatever lens that you buy for is the exact focal length that you're working with. So when you're in tight positions, if you've got, let's just say an F4, 10 millimeter to 14 millimeter zoom lens, right? Short range zoom lens, 10 millimeters is wide. You're gonna get all of that. Yes, there will probably be some barrel distortion in some way, case or form, but you're gonna get less restrictions in terms of framing, composition, and all of that. And again, even companies like Panasonic, who are mainly next to Olympus, the pioneers of micro four thirds, have not necessarily admitted defeat, but have accepted that you need to be taken seriously when and if you join full frame. They're not giving up for micro four thirds, but the fact that they've jumped in full frame and they're bringing out heat rocking cameras like the S1, the S1R and the S1H shows that you have to be playing the full frame game to be taken seriously because ultimately that is the final form. Does it mean you cannot get good results on APS-C? No. Does it mean you can't get fully good results on micro four thirds? No. Does it mean you can't get fully good re results on a one inch camcorder sensor? No. But ultimately, full frame is the best. It's where you need to find yourself at one way or another. Whatever you're doing to take your craft seriously, full frame is where you need to be at in one way, shape or form, whether it's for photography or for video. And as much as we disagree, if you look at the video camera scene right now, Look at something like the Canon C500 Mark II that just got announced. That is a, as they call it for pure video cameras, that's a large format camera or a full frame cinema camera. Whereas cinema cameras has been, have been APS-C slash Super 35 sensor sizes for years. Now these companies are accepting the fact that having a large format full frame is also beneficial for dedicated pure outright video cameras. So my thoughts are that Full frame is where you need to find yourself at. Does it mean that you can't have longevity or professional results with smaller sensors? No, but ultimately for flexibility, for composition, framing, end result, having a cleaner image out of the box with less manipulation so you can have raw, the raw ability to put artistic work to it rather than correction, full frame is where it's at bro. So that's my thoughts.